Cyprus. Welcome to the 29th. Welcome to thunder, lightning, hailstones. It is cold, people. It is cold. I have got a big jumper on, honestly. It is. It's cold. I actually went for a run this morning. It was lovely, sunny, got up early, went for a run. I think I did about just under 5k. Did some press ups. Did, did, did. Can you see the lightning? And then the heavens opened up, literally. And it's cold. <laughs> plan today was to go to the graveyard and clean up my mum and dad's gravestone. We've already been and um, we've lit the uh, candili, the candle. Uh, but we wanted to go back and um, just clean it all up. That's not going to happen today, not in this weather. Then we thought it's Saturday, so we'll drive up to the mountains and get something to eat. I don't know if we're going to do that. We were also planning to go and see some of Rico's relatives. <laughs> don't know if we're doing that. At the moment, we're just sitting here. I was actually um, going through all the photographs and things, just doing all of that. But I think I'm going to go and get a face on and see if this rain stops because it honestly it changes it really does change it goes from this to sunny but it's, this has been going on for about an hour now and it just it just and there's no sun it just totally chills down so that's what we're doing this saturday so i'm gonna go and get a face on <laughs> hey people the sun oh it's gone dark now the sun is out it's really really warm now it's absolutely gorgeous so we are out and about okay so I went round saw my cousin had a few chats just kind of right there you know like all the cousins we all live kind of our houses are all practically next door to each other so <coughs> I had a few chats with my cousin then we left and we went to see Rico's cousins because that was the plan for today and we'll probably go to the graveyard tomorrow to uh, clean up the grave and all of that but um yeah so we're now heading for the mountains yeah, well, the is, plan is we're heading for the mountains that's the plan, we, isn't it? because we're starving we're hungry very hungry we all I've had, the i know in the mountains why go to the mountains why are we going to the mountains i don't know because you like it because i like it yeah yeah do you know, I used to hate it when my mum and dad used to take us to the mountain. I can't see, I'm going to have to leave you. I can't see. Can you see me? I can't see the sun, it's too bright. Here's a rare scene in Cyprus. Things are actually quite green. Normally when we come, everything is kind of dead from the hot sun. Do you know where we are now, Rico? What's, what's this road? Across the mountains, I go to the mountains, across Ballyhori, and it's cut off for Mori and Farmagan, all that, and other villages and whatever. Look at that house all by itself, what? Middle of a mountain. Anyway, we're 
go in there. Hopefully we can get something to eat there. I'm doing all the things that I used to not Maybe. understand. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Travel for miles into the mountains to get something to eat. Okay, <laughs> so we didn't go to Agros. We've stopped at this place called S. Oh no, that's the Garivies. Garivies, which means chestnuts. Garifkia. No, it's not chestnuts. Garifkia is um, walnuts. Walnuts. That's what the place is called. Walnuts. Garivies. There we go. I get the sign. There we go. That's the sign right there. Right, right let's go see what this is like. Just take it with you. Hey people, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's the trendy that's been my wee pal on the trip everywhere. I'm going to just straighten my car slightly, Andrew. Right? Okay, you straighten your car. Got the phone charging at the moment. With a very big battery pack. Our car, by the way, is a wee hybrid, mm -hmm. hasn't it? Um, what is it? It's a, it's a Suzuki Alto. It's a Suzuki Alto. It's tiny. It's the size of a matchbox. But it gets us from A to B and that's all that matters. Right, let's go and eat. I'm hungry. I can't smell souvla though. No. It doesn't smell. What's the menu? Is there a menu? You never get menus in these places. There is a menu. Is there? Right. right, let's go. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, we'll have a look. Okay, mm. we're in. It's a bit chilly. And we're having souvla, which is lamb on the spit. Okay, do you want to see my view? This is my view. Oh, so we're up here. It's the tip of the trees, or the top of the trees, and we're oh, up here. Trees, right? I know, and then, yeah. and then there's down, oh, I keep hitting the glass, and then we're down there. Well, we're not down there, that's down there. So this restaurant here is obviously part of the house there. See it? Okay, we've ordered a local wine. Tell us, we go. Well, it's up in this, it's around this area, it's just down the road there, and this. Iris and Belly's uh, winery maker. We passed that section, there's a winery up there. Mm -hmm. This is a winery. And uh, this is a Xenisteri, which is what we've been drinking in Cyprus, the grape variety. Uh, there we go. We have some toasted bread, gulluri, yeah. village salad. <laughs> we have some tahini made from sesame. And now we're going to have the wine. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Is it nice? It reminds me of something. Should you steady? <laughs> chin chin. Cheers. Nice? Yeah, it's lovely. Okay, so that's our soup now. This is the lamb, pork, chips, with curry, bogui. And that's it. So dessert arrives without actually having to order dessert. That, that happened in the other restaurant as well the other night, doesn't it? They, they bring dessert without actually us ordering it. There we go. Good morning. Welcome to the 30th of April. Tomorrow is George's birthday. First of May she was born. She will be six. Welcome to sunny Cyprus. It is absolutely beautiful today. I have my seat here on the veranda because I have just mopped the kitchen and it's all mopped and um, it's the only opportunity I have to mop. We tend to just kind of sit in the kitchen all the time when we're home. Uh, so yeah, because I waited to have a shower so I quickly got the mop out but I've swept all the verandas and all of that. Waiting for Rico to have a shower, get a washing on. then. We are, let me sit down people, I put that kettle on it's not boiling for the coffee. Then we are going to, oh it's beautiful, oh it's hot, um, I'm going to go to the plant today is go to the graveyard, go and see Rico's cousin and aunt and then um, I think we're going out with my cousin tonight, the one I tend to go out with the most, that's the plan for today. I just sit out and look at my jungle. <laughs> it's really bad. So we need a tractor, basically, to take all this down, and then you'll be able to see the beautiful olive trees and other trees. Hear the church bells. But yeah, all this area was like that. 
as well and then I just got somebody to kind of clear it all out because so we can have some sort of pathway basically this is another project do you put money into it which was the original plan which was what I originally started doing hence why the house looks fresh inside because I've had it painted and all of that changed some doors and that was the plan to fix it and rent it was the plan this is the river that flows by the house and um, those of you that have been watching my stories you will have seen I showed it on my stories yesterday when the river was flowing and today it has dried up people completely dried up that's why we love it when the river flows because it's a rare sight but it was definitely flowing yesterday so there's the river and if I turn you around through there it's good I'm gonna drop the phone because <laughs> I'm standing on the bridge just now through there is where we are and like when the trees are all cleared when it's all cleared you can actually look down you can see the fence just there yep it's a beautiful day today it's gorgeous and then there's where I go running just across from the house here's a view from the land you can see all, there's all the olive trees along the side there so on the other side of that is the river and then of course it goes in deep that way this is the side of the house we're on now the side of the verandas just here there we go that's all this used to be a driveway <laughs> oh my goodness me so all these structures that you see this is where the vines used to grow and they were um, good for shade you would sit under for shade when it gets really hot in the summer and have lovely grapes so that's what all these are that you see that's all the rubbish that was cleared from here and round the side the back where the kitchen is I know a lot of you say you would love to see a lot more of Cyprus and you'd like me to take you it's just when we come like off peak <laughs> like not at some time it's you know we've got things to do and we're not really although we try and incorporate you know some sort of fun it's about getting things done and that's why we don't really do much and it's a week it's not much you can do really good morning from the uh, second of May, second of May. I had a busy morning this morning. Last night we had a lot of. I had all my cousins came round. The majority of them all came round. We bought my cousin as well, who had her foot amputated in the wheelchair. Kind of Rico and my cousin's husband kind of lifted her wheelchair onto the veranda. So cleaned up all the mess. Well, we cleaned most of that up last night with Rico. This morning I cleaned out one of the cupboards with all the glasses. I kind of can't do them all at once. I'm only here for a week and I'm trying to get stuff done. So um, I got one of the cupboards cleaned out today because I kind of just use one cupboard in the kitchen. I just washed my hair and showered. So yeah, bare-faced Andre in the jungle. <laughs> um, so I kind of went from one cupboard to this stuff and slowly, slowly cleaning out everything. But I've washed down all the verandas this morning. I mean all the way around the house they go but they're this they're very marked i've tried to bleach them rico got up on top of the roof cleaned out all the pipes because that kept dripping and staining the veranda so all that's been sorted as well so we, i mean we get things done and then by the time the next time comes they're still wet in the front here just see it's all those patches they're still wet initially i was just doing it with like a, a bucket and i couldn't find the hose the veranda hose this one here which my mum has to this is the one she used to use and it goes all the way around to wash the vans and I couldn't find it. and it was next door at my auntie's house like I said earlier on I haven't really been vlogging I don't vlog when I'm out with my cousin so yesterday we went to the beach um, and I think it was just before Limassol beach 
what's that beach called? Oh, I can't remember the last week when we go in. Um, and we had lunch with my cousins at the beach with my cousin dog, so which is the one I kind of tend to go out with. She's the one that's got my key to the house. And so we went out with them and then we picked up my cousin, my other cousin, and we brought her here. And her mum is like next door to my house. It was the house she was brought up with and she's not been able to come because we've got steps coming up to the veranda to the houses. She's not got out since for a, she says about two years it's been since she's kind of obviously she drives past but anyway I says to Rico you know if I had three three weeks here I would bring all this place back to where it should be I mean it's such a shame it really is such a shame I mean initially when I come I'm always like what am I doing here and then it grows on you it grows on you, you get used to your surroundings. It's like the tractor's supposed to be coming today, but you see in between all of these, right, in the trees there's a watering system, so there's hoses that water all the trees. Uh, I haven't got a clue how to use them, so what normally happens is my godson comes, because next door to me is my auntie's, um, he comes and moves all the hoses so the tractor can go through. It's not something I can do. I mean, look at, them. look at them all. And then, of course, my cousin, who stays down at the other end, like down there, she showed me, she had a video of a snake in there. <laughs> in there. Big, big, fat black snake it was. Anyway, I'm going to go and get some makeup on now because the next step is uh, bringing in water to the house. So, like I've said before, we have our own water, watering like we pump water out of down there in the in the in our in our jungle we have what do you call it a well what i don't know what you call it in english wait till i ask you before so we don't have like council water it's all pumped in so this baby here rico what's the address he called in, in english a well a well, because it's a well as well. Anyway, so we're going to get that started today. Uh, I'm just going to get some makeup on. First day I washed my hair today since I've been here. So I'm going to get some makeup on and we're going to kind of start with that today. So the next, not the next time we come, the next time we come here, um, we can get that rolling as well and get it done. As I'm going to do my makeup, I'm going to show you how I do my makeup every morning. <laughs> Wardrobe's open, that's the clothes that I brought. <laughs> honestly, right. This is the makeup, and honestly, I've, I think I've used everything here. So I bought my Anastasia palette, I bought two Chanel palettes, these two here, my Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder a highlighter, a Chanel blush, a Tom Ford. So this is also a blush, but I use it as my contour. If you watch my Get Ready With Me, you'll, you'll have seen this. And I think it's concealer. Any concealer that I've been using, I think has been affecting my what's going on on my face. All of this, and it was really bad when I first came. I put steroid cream on it. Again, trying to calm it down. It's crazy. It's really crazy and it's not spots, it's something, it's irritating my skin. Uh, I thought it was the Et Cosmetics, I just think I just have to keep away from that area. Anyway, I didn't use concealer yesterday but this is the one I bought with me. The Maybelline, my Estee Lauder, uh, the Vive Skin Dew and then this is like instead of my Morning Aura, you use this under foundation which I haven't been using. My selection of brushes that I brought with me. And my mascaras, my, my new favourite again, the MAC one. That's a pre MAC one. This particular one, I don't know if it's because I've got used to using this, but I'm not very much impressed. And you know how much I love the pre MAC mascaras. That's my waterproof one, which I haven't used. That's my Lush Lash Paradise, which I use under my mascara. A selection of eyeliners, my black one here that I normally use. Tom Ford, I've used this. This is the sparkly Tom Ford one. And it's got sparkles through it. I've used that. I've used all my lip liners. I've used my... Oh, 
the, you know that one that everybody talks about pillow talk pillow talk lipstick I don't think I've used that lip gloss I've used my Chanel one that I got Christmas time this is a dark one I've even used that one there we go and I've used that I've actually really been loving this this really does stay on I'm really impressed with this actually I think initially when I first tried it I wasn't but I'm loving it the color everything I love about it so that's it and this is how I do my makeup and then as I use these things they go back in there I also this was with me when I was traveling this is just the deal for touch ups like a foundation thing for touch ups and then I just put maybe a, a lipstick or whatever in there that I'm carrying with me in my Chanel tote I have been using that lots so I've got good wear out of that I'm talking about the bag that's the makeup I bought with me skincare we have Estee Lauder Perfectionist Pro so this is vitamin C my Estee Lauder eye serum my um, revitalizing supreme moisturizer nighttime Estee Lauder advanced night repair this is my sunblock Estee Lauder perfectionist pro SPF 50 there we go and then the perfume I brought with me was Armani this one I have used this because like I said I've only just washed my hair so I was using that for root lift yesterday and I also needed that as well roll on thing deodorant roll on thing there we go and that's just toothbrushes and blah 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 but i have a lot of things here as well that i have you know i've got bits and pieces i just let my hair dry naturally and i just went over them quickly with the straighteners that's Rico's bag <laughs> anyway that's us that's my mum's dress table that she's loved there we go little antique right there right we better go oh yeah just me and mama right there so that's a wee catch up clothes wise everything that i bought was perfect i bought a good selection i've been before this time of the year i used to come this time of year when my dad was unwell um so i would always because i was coming over quite a lot so i knew this was this is the type of weather all the things that i like to wear the high necked cutaway or i or are all ideal for the weather just now because it's very changeable anyway i really need to get ready because we're going to the water board to see what we can do <sighs> maybe we can eventually get it fixed because once i can get council water in i can rent the property because nobody's going to know how this whole system works of drawing in water so once i get I call it council water, but where they can just turn on the tap and there's water and you don't have to fill the tank to have water. We have to fill our tank, turn it on, bring it in, draw it in and blah, blah, blah. And people that rent are not going to do that. So once I can get water to the house. I'm going to rent. Okay, here we go again. So we've been to the water board and we've told them that we want to bring in water. Do you call it council water? Someone's called. Yeah. And um piped water All right, piped water, whatever. So we went prepared with the deeds of the oh my god, look people look at this. People, honestly, the driving in this country is bloody ridiculous. We are here. Look, this guy came from the pavement and squeezed in here. Look, I mean, look. Seriously, people. It's crazy. Um, anyway, what was I saying? What was I saying? So, we went prepared with the deeds of the property. But I said to Rico, get all the paperwork for the house. Okay? So, the house... When my dad came from London and came to the house, he extended the house. So the bedroom we're in is an extension, the bathroom's an extension. And he rearranged the house. So we, he obviously needed plans for that. The house was originally built by my granddad. They're asking for a permit, a what, a what, a building permit. I doubt very much my granddad had a building permit when he built the house. It's just off. So I doubt very much. Did, Andrew, but... Yeah. Right. Who's gonna find that? So 
Rico explained that to them that you know the house is really really old and doubt very much we'll have a, a, a building permit but the house was extended so they said that will do Rico didn't pick that up sorry you didn't pick up that paperwork so we've left the water board no because I said to you Get all the paperwork that we're going to do. So we're going back. How did I know what all the paperwork we're going to do? But I, I said I you to get a, a plan of the house, right? This is all the paperwork for the house. Plus, this is just lift up the envelope. Anyway, with which we have all our paperwork in. So we're now going back to the house to find the building permit. Oh, dearie me. So that's why I'm so Here we go. It's an old trunk, people. We're trying to find out what's in this trunk. Okay, so it turns out in this wee case were clothes that I think belong to my mum's great grandmother. This is what we think after speaking to my auntie. Before we are back in the car, I can't remember when I last left you, but been a bit all over the place. This is old Strovalos we are in, so you can tell with all the wee side roads here, there, and everywhere. Houses there. This one's been done up. Old doors. Anyway, <laughs> we are no further forward, people. Well, we are. It saves the. I sort of saying to Rico, the running around we're doing just now. It saves us doing it the next time, and we can just kind of pick up from where we leave off now. So we've not found the documents that we need, basically. So we went to land registry. Yes. Because that's where. It, we were supposed to pick up some the documents that we need. Basically, the That's what we're doing now. build where land registry. We're no, where were we just now? The municipality, the town hall, so to speak. Okay, town hall, so to speak. Because <laughs> that's where we, no, that's where we're going to get the permit. She won't give us a permit. No, because... that is the town hall. Yeah. We're at just now. Yes. Yes. Right. right. But now we're going for to her to give us yeah, for yeah, her to go to land registry. Okay. For, for her to do anything, she wants an updated title the, deed. The title deeds. So the title deeds I have are obviously when I got them. So they're old. So they want us to update them now before they can go ahead and give us the paperwork that we need to take to the water board. And I'm sure there's going to be some sort of. Mm -hmm -hmm. Anyway, so that's where we're off now to go and get an updated title deed of the land so we can go back to this place which we're not going to have time for because everything closes at quarter past well, two watch uh, the lamp so i don't know what that was. i thought we were doing well when we were got the blinking electricity board sorted out anyway all this we tried to st we started doing before <coughs> COVID when we started doing all that and the reason I need to do all of this is because I need to rent the house out and I don't want to rent the house out like I said in the state that it's in just now with the water so we're running around in circles basically updated I don't know why they want updated deeds what well, it's going to give you the new value and everything on it as well what's that to do with putting in water that's, that's the way they are Andy right that's the way they are. She said you need it. The guy up. <coughs> Rico has the cough that I had. The guy up there said to the water board. The guy, not her. But he said we could do it with this this one. Yeah, but no. She had said to him, they need the new deeds. But he said we could do it with that one. So if we had the other paperwork, which we do. Yes. Anyway, <coughs> they're being helpful. They are being helpful. We can't fault them. 
that it's just it's the system people that's the system. started this at 9 a.m. this morning instead of cleaning out cupboards yes <coughs> I'm lying in bed I lay, I lay in bed you, you were cleaning thank you because see the thing is all my cousins think I do nothing they're, they're like when they were all round last night and I was sitting down Rico's getting the drinks and I had already put out snacks and uh, my cousin says to me, why are you sitting down and just letting Rico do this? Well, how many people does it take to pour a drink? Seriously? <sighs> Different way of life. So we've still got to go and order our things that I'm going to take to Scotland. We've still got to go back to the graveyard. And, in there. Huh, I know, that's, I just remembered that's why because I've just seen it. Oh my God, do you want to say graveyard people? <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, dear me. Back on the road people, so we've been home, we've been home, we have, what did we do when we went home, put out the washing, <laughs> looked at the forms, looked to see um, what can be done right now, Rico kind of went online and we've decided it's best to leave them just now, as we've only, we're leaving tomorrow, and kind of do it all from over there and continue it the next time we're in cyprus is what we've decided to do so we're off to the beach people we're off to the beach now because it's been a busy morning and it was really quite warm today i had my denim a thin it's very thin denim blouse um denim, denim yeah denim shirt i said i need to change it's too hot so change to t-shirt then it's got cooler and um yeah off to get something to eat now that's the plan so that's all we're doing now for today. We've ordered the things we're taking back and that's it. So we've ordered gobes. My cousin's ordering the dactyla for me and some kind of cheese pastries and bits and pieces like that. Current situation, people, is we are in traffic. We're going to Larnaca today. We were in Limassol yesterday. So that's what we're doing. Okay, this is, so this is the one we dined in. No, this is the one we dined in last week. The Okay, so this is the one this we is normally the, dine in. So this is one in last year. What's this one called? Lush. Lush, okay. And it has the bar there, and the beds in the front there. And this is the one we dined in the other night with my cousin. This one here. Which I was not impressed with. If I had to be honest, it also has the bar and the beds. There we go. There's a few people in bikinis tanning themselves more down that end than up here. My goodness, this would be packed in the summer. Sandy Beach. All these ones are kind of closed up here. So we've walked to the end and it's, there you go, that's the airport. So when you're landing in Lahanaka, it almost feels like you're going to land in the sea because the airport is kind of right there. Huh? I think it's time to go and find a restaurant and have a wee glass of vino. What do we think? What time is it in this world? In this world, oh, it's quarter to five, people. It's a lovely day. When we were at the beach yesterday, um, it was quite breezy, but today is absolutely beautiful. Are you coming? Because he wants to see the plane taking off. So we've decided to stop at this place current view well this is really my current view 
No more do you want. Okay, decided to take a walk on the sand. And it's so strange because normally the sand would be absolutely roasting. So here we are. And trousers <laughs> at the beach. There is no better sound than the sea. It sounds amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. But it's strange because I'm normally used to it when it's absolutely roasting. It's actually not that cold. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now I've got filthy feet. What do I do? <laughs> Somebody in the sea there, can you see? Okay, so we've... Uh... So this is my aunt, my mom's sister. This is my aunt. I brought her over because she remembers everything from the kitchen. These are the old clothes that women used to wear. Like antique clothing that the women used to wear. So what do you think about the clothes? It's a big deal. It's a big deal. These were the traditional dresses. These are antiques, people. What's the chronon tanduta? Huh? Ne, what's the chronon lalis? They were tiny. Any vraga to Bapu, that's my Bapu's, my great that my great granddad's pantalon, pantaloon, whatever you call them. Ella, <laughs> I don't know, it's an antique. Do you have to go to the store? Do you have to go to the store? No, I don't know. Do you have to go to the store? Yes. Do you have to go to the store? Yes. Do you have to go to the store? Yes. Do you have to go to the store? Yes. 